Hey guys, it's Chris with Plumetry, and this is video three in my temperature and humidity series. In this video, I'm gonna test specifically how bank shots react in different climate conditions. In videos one and two, we explored some more exotic bank shots to see sort of generally what's going on. But in this video, I wanna narrow down some more specific one, two, three, and four rail bank patterns that are fairly common. So far we've seen that humidity is the greatest factor with wet tables consistently running longer than dry tables. But I wanna see if that holds true with some more common bank shots. First up, cross corner. This is such an important shot, I'm actually gonna test it at three different speeds. From Diamond 4, my aiming numbers are 1.5 for fast speed, 1.75 for medium speed, and diamond two for slow speed. First up, fast speed, hot and dry, cold and dry, cold and wet, hot and wet. To be honest, I wasn't that surprised that a fast speed bank shot resulted in a fairly consistent rebound angle across all climates. In fact, I think that's probably why you see a lot of old school bankers they bank at one speed almost exclusively. They bank at a fast speed. There's something that seems to bully the rail in a way that seems to minimize whether it's a wet rail or a dry rail or a dead rail or whatever it is. The fast speed shot seems to come out at a very consistent angle and I saw that here too, no matter the conditions. It's also important to point out that I thought I was hitting these shots fairly pure, but from the overhead view, sometimes you see the ball roll forward a little bit. I'm talking about the cue ball. Sometimes you see it slide to the right or to the left or a little backspin. And these slight changes have a tremendous impact on bank shots. It produces impact induced throw and spin, and this can really change things. See it here from the top view. So while there is some discrepancy on the precision of which I hit these shots, I want to stress that I promise you that the shots I'm showing you, the patterns I'm showing you, are pretty typical of what happened in each climate. Next up we have medium speed, and here we see our first example of where heat and humidity can drastically affect the trajectory of a bank shot. Hot and dry pockets, cold and dry pockets, cold and wet pockets, but hot and wet run short. So that's fast speed and medium speed, but what about slow speed? Hot and dry run short. Cold and dry pockets. Cold and wet run short. And hot and wet runs very short. If I'm honest, this was actually a result I was hoping for because I have always wondered why my slow speed bank shots seem to be so different from table to table. And while there may be a big difference between a diamond table that's brand new and maybe a 50 year old whatever table, I think it's time we put heat and humidity at the forefront of the discussion of the factors that influence bank shots that's not related to how fast you hit the ball or what kind of English, but just the table conditions themselves. Next up, I tested two rails in the corner, aiming diamond three through three on the end rail, medium speed. Hot and dry runs a little long. Cold and dry pockets as expected. Cold and wet runs long. Hot and wet runs even longer. At first glance, this seems to follow the pattern we've been seeing where one humidity runs short and the other humidity runs long. But this is actually the opposite. In this pattern, we see the dry table running short and the wet table running long, which is opposite again of what we've been seeing so far. At the very least, we're still consistent in that a wet table and a dry table have very different things happen on bank shots. But for now, it's on to my three in the corner pattern. Here I shoot eight through 2.2 .2 medium speed. Some people will see this as 5.8 going the other way. Hot and dry runs a little short. 
cold and dry pockets as expected. Cold and wet runs short. Hot and wet runs even shorter once again. And finally, my four in the corner pattern. Here I shoot three through 2.3 on the end rail, medium speed. Hot and dry pockets. Cold and dry pockets. Cold and wet run short. Hot and wet runs even shorter. In review, have a look at this. All the patterns pocketed in cold and dry conditions, which is no surprise because that is the most common condition I shoot in and how I've really calibrated all my shots. Adding heat or high humidity made many of the patterns run short, and in both heat and high humidity together, many patterns ran very short. If we combine bank shots from this video with those from videos one and two, there is an overwhelming amount of evidence for this general rule. Wet conditions tend to run bank shots shorter than dry conditions, and adding heat to wet conditions seems to decrease the final rail rebound even further. Of course, the two in the corner pattern is an obvious exception. However, I have a hunch that that pattern and its cousin two in the side might be the only deviants from this rule. Maybe someday I'll have a chance to test this experiment with all 25 shots from my aim with speed bank shot library. But for now, it's time to move on to how environmental factors such as temperature and humidity affect the deflection and the throw on the cue ball and the object ball.